Heart and Bone is a reference from back in the day for reggae music, actually, referring to the drums and the bass as the heart and the bone. And so she's the heart, I'm the bone, and we're Heart and Bone Science. <laughs> We are originally from Denver, Colorado, and we had painted some signs out there without really knowing what we were doing. We had just been asked by some different businesses to paint some signs for them. So we had that little bit of experience. Then we moved out here for grad school, and we noticed downtown all of the amazing gold leaf signs everywhere. And I think seeing these gold leaf signs really blew our mind because we just had no idea how they were made. Seeing that mirror gold on the glass, not knowing how they were able to get those shapes or make it so bright. I think it was something about the enigmatic quality of just really being mysterious and wanting to learn and trying to figure out. And I think to this day that still is something that drives us with our work. There is really no, no one way to make signs and gold leaf signs are no exception, um, but kind of a standard way or in the Chicago style, you would put your outlines up first, and then you would put in your centers or matte effects on the gold. And then once that's all finished up and dried up, you will water size over the outlines and the centers. And that is a small amount of gelatin dissolved into water. And so the water size is flooded onto the glass. And then using a special brush called a gilder's tip, the gold leaf is carefully picked up and applied onto the glass. A few other magic steps and you got a gold leaf sign. We were really fascinated with gold leaf in particular. Um, so we wanted to learn more about that and found Robert's business online. So I reached out to him and he invited us over and we all really got along and um, he is our gold father. <laughs> so now we're just friends. He has about you know, over 30 years of experience. So um, we were able to really navigate learning how to do gold leaves through his support. We really are a reflection of our mentor and what he's learned and what he's taken from his mentors. And, you know, we are just the direct lineage of those generations of mentorship. My biggest thing is, is I wanted to pass this on to another generation, this craft. And I, when I first started actually in, at Carlson, there was probably 12 good artisans that used to guild in, throughout the city, you know, different companies. And now we're down to pretty much three or four of us, you know, which is Kelsey and Andrew and I and this other gentleman that we know, um, Sean Michael Felix. And that's pretty, that's it. That's a bit all, that's the only people that are actually still practicing and keeping that tradition alive. Gold leaf was like, everybody was doing, had gold leaf windows because it was cheap, labor was cheap, it predated electricity. So it was the only thing that really got people's attention, you know, it just was flashy. And um, it was really the way that everybody, it was just the mainstay, especially in the big cities, Chicago, Boston, New York. Um, but fortunately, Chicago has actually maintained that style much longer than most of the other cities. And in Chicago, we're really known for our gold leaf throughout the world. My hope for the future is for it to be uh, continued, which it has been. And fortunately, with Instagram and the new generation, they've really embraced it. And they've exceeded my expectations, believe me. I mean, they've, they're taking it to even another level that I've, I've taken it to, you know? So um, I'm really proud of them. It's been great. Oftentimes people get confused between real gold leaf and vinyl. And so it's really important that, you know, we educate customers and let them know what the difference is and continue to do it. And it, I think sometimes if we step back and we think about, um, you know, that we're continuing that and maybe if we weren't doing it, nobody would be doing it. There is a little bit of pressure, you know, we want to do the best we can and sometimes you know, we face different challenges, but for us, I think it's really important that the city of Chicago continues to have gold leaf signs into the future.